All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Real quick uh, video for all of y'all uh, watching this. Hi, everyone. It's Jesse. So we just did a big update to the user interface or the UI of the users section. So this is for all of you admins out there, which is primarily the the data management officers, but I know it has some heads of agencies, maybe some partnerships folks. This will also be applicable to you. We updated the user interface of the actual uh, user management section to make it a little bit more streamlined, also to play around with the other idea is that we've enhanced the amount of roles for each individual module. That'll be the cooperation framework, the IMS, and the common premises, and then obviously future modules like the boss and the common shared services. So we are slowly starting to roll in all of the operations and management of the platform and the admin privileges, if you will. Uh, and this is our first offering, an update to the user management. And it's going to show you what it looks like. And then a future update, I'm going to make another, another video. We're going to cover the kind of the definitions of each role. So first off, uh, if you you don't necessarily do anything in this in this current juncture because all the roles previously assigned are already matched to new roles. So for anyone on the cooperation framework, all of your you know, results group folks, uh, M&E folks, whomever, uh, the cooperation framework editor role just easily translated as well as does the viewer role. Also, if you have folks who are IMS editors, that also just immediately translated. But we do have a lot more IMS roles to support the overall uh, update of that, uh, the, the cooperation of, the, of the, the surveys. And we'll cover that in a future video in like, you know, give us 24 hours. But for the most part, the biggest change to the UI is that we have now the selection and assignment of roles starts with the role itself. And if you open it up, this is for those of you who have access to the user permissions, uh, you'll see that we have all these new options. And for the cooperation framework, we have four roles. We have the viewer, user role management, product owner, and editor. Uh, we, affect, we just basically have one new role uh, for the cooperation framework, and that is user role management. The other three roles already exist. The cooperation framework editor, it's the editor role. The viewer, what's the viewer role? And the product owner is actually the admin role but the admin role for an individual workspace. So effectively you, your data management officer, maybe your head of RCO, something like that. Uh, and the new role is the user role management. So if you wanted to have support from someone in the RCO, for instance, to help you with the user management, you can assign them this role. So let's say I have here in this random example, I have someone who is an IMS editor and a cooperation framework editor for El Salvador, but I also want them to help me out with user role management. I select user role management, and then I would select the workspace El Salvador, click add the role, and there it pops up over on the right side. If this looks familiar, it's sort of like the way we have the disaggregation categories for indicators, you know, just kind of select on the left, move it over to the right, and then you just hit save. Save all and confirm. And just like that, you're done. Ta-da, easy peasy. Uh, to remove a role, you can easily just select it or even select all if you wanted to start over uh, and then hit delete selected or delete all or select, you know, you know, follow the prompts here below. Very simple, very straightforward, but this is, is sort of how we've gone. Uh, do make sure you save if you ever move a role into the selected role combinations. So if you move it over, just hit that save all or save individual save button and that will save for you. And that's pretty much it. You'll notice that the DMO button still is around. So you've, uh, if you are the DMO, that is also kind of like how you automatically apply to the product owner. So definitely you want to click on that. Or if it's not clicked, it should be clicked. I think we covered up everyone. Everyone, maybe DMO is clicked. Maybe not. Probably are. Anyway, moving on. But that's pretty much the, the update on how this process has been modified. Again, very simple. Uh, if you have the, uh, if you are the product owner or the admin, you have this already updated. Uh, if you want to assign that a user management uh, role or user role management, I should say, you can do so. You can assign editors. You could do viewer, um, or you can move and match around. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, look for a video coming out soon to kind of describe all the IMS roles. Because if you do take a look at all of these, we do have a uh, team leader, product owner, DMO, comments editor, and editor. So we have roles for the various different assignments for the uh, for the work on the survey, as well as the kind of the quality assurance on the survey, particularly the comments uh, and the, um, the 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 survey completion, if you will. And that's going to come out in a little bit. Just if any, I'll put that together for you. So that's just a really quick video to demonstrate that we have pushed this new UI to production. You know, so you know what that means. That is now live on your workspace. 
If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me on uh, email or Teams. Uh, and especially also if you run into any issues initially, uh, we ironed out a host of bugs. Um, well, not a host, but we kind of went through and took our time with this to make sure it's specific because it is combining different modules and different kind of like rights and roles and responsibilities. So it was a bit more, it, was a, it took a little bit longer than we, than we anticipated because it's kind of combining different like different, different modules. Uh, but if you do run into any issues, uh, do let me know and we'll easily solve those for you. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to cover that right in this quick video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.